Hey everyone, uh, Stacks here. Welcome back to the channel. Come on in and get comfortable because today I got a big preview for you for Wolverine number one. Now I will say up front, it's a, it's a Marvel number one, so it is the price goes up. However, it's $7.99 and it's 72 pages. And honestly, uh, there's no way I'm not picking it up. So this thing is going to contain two stories. It's going to contain a, uh, a murder mystery slash crime saga drawn by... Adam Cooper and uh, colored by Frank Martin. Of course, it's written by Benjamin Percy. And then it's also going to have a horror thriller villain throwdown drawn by uh, Victor uh, Bogdanovich and colored by Matt Wilson. There's also going to be an insane amount of variants, but I don't think it's as bad as it was for the Return of Wolverine. At least, at least I don't think so, but there's some really cool ones out there. I'll show them throughout the video and include some of them at the end. But hey, before we get to the preview, let's go ahead, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, hit the bell for notifications, all that good stuff, and make sure after the video you go head over to my uh, X-Men Fantastic Four video and learn how to register win the entire series of X-Men and Fantastic Four that's coming out right now. The entire series, all four books, shipped to you as a big thank you for supporting the channel. But you do have to be in it to win it, so go follow the instructions over there and good luck. All right, let me take a sip of coffee and get ready for this Wolverine inner monologue voice. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. The preview starts out somewhere in Alaska. You got Logan laying in, laying in the snow, looking up, covered in blood, scarred, beaten, battered. Here we go. James, Logan, Patch, Weapon X, Wolverine, Canada, Madripoor, New York, Japan, Krakoa. <laughs> Name scramble. Time gets slippery. My brain feels bruised black. I don't know when, where, or even who I am. But I know this. I'm an expert on pain. I've been beaten, poisoned, burned, bombed, slashed, stabbed, shot, electrocuted, drowned, been knifed through with hot veins of metal, and had my bones turned inside out, been nuked, <laughs> steamrolled, crucified, ripped in half, chewed up and spit out. My body is one big wound. A million scars I carry around inside me. But nothing compares, not even close, to the hurt I feel now, knowing my friends, my family, are dead in my hands. And of course, laying in the snow, you have the X-Force team. You have uh, Jean Grey, Marvel Girl, you have Kid Omega, Domino, all laying there dead with the slash marks on them. And Logan's sitting there just shocked, looking at his hands, thinking, you know, what have I done? So, of course, this is going to be your who done it, what happened murder mystery we talked about. After I kind of absorbed this, I thought, well, maybe this is why Colossus was listed as having to be resurrected over in X-Force uh, number 7. But then I thought, well, Domino's dead too, and if she was resurrected, she wouldn't need to come back with the, the uh, eyeball and the, the bio arm and all that stuff the biographs to after what happened during x-force one and two so we're gonna have to of course take the wait and see approach and figure out what's going on with this and see what benjamin percy has in store for us the next one seems like it's going to be much more house of x powers of x centric and dealing with the, the mutants coming over even the even former enemies coming over into krakoa and the issues that that's kind of start we're starting to see with that and this one starts on Krakoa, and Wolverine's sitting there looking at the sunset. I guess sun, it could be sunrise, I don't know. I, I don't have east-west reference here. Anyways, jump into the second story in the book. You have Wolverine in Krakoa looking out over the ocean at the sunset. I guess it could technically be the sunrise, being that I don't have a north-facing arrow here. I don't know my east-west reference. Anyways, you have Wolverine here, kind of speaking to himself. The island's always changing. A canyon seals closed, a river gushes out of the ground, a rocky peak spikes up overnight. Some think of Krakoa as a safe haven. That's the kind of thinking that gets people killed. If this place ain't giving me a reason to trust the ground beneath my feet, then I'm going to treat it like a series of obstacles and threats. One big danger room. A testing ground that's constantly evolving, reprogramming itself. The gash of my footprint to become a sudden garden, a valley bulges into a hill. Same goes for the mutants that call this place home. Enemies or suddenly allies, 
Someone who was trying to end the world is now trying to save it. Someone you were trying to kill or avoid getting killed by is now a neighbor. You can accept it, or you can treat it like a test. We're all in this together, they say. We've all changed, they say. I ain't so sure about that. But as someone who's done terrible things and moved past them, I suppose I gotta trust the same as possible for everybody else. Or not. And right at that time, you have Omega Red coming through one of the portals, dripping in blood, saying, I understand that you offer amnesty. And Wolverine doesn't have the claws out yet, but he's got his fist clenched, and he's ready for him to come out if he needs him, because he knows Omega Red ain't one of those dudes you play around with. Now this moment was actually foreshadowed back on the cover of House of X number 6, and this was actually the, quote, foreshadowing variant. So it's pretty cool now that we're starting to see this come to fruition. Now Wolverine's actually shown the willingness or the ability to kind of put things behind him. When he approached Gorgon during uh, the big festivity once Krakoa was announced as a nation, and handed him a beer and said, you know, didn't really say anything, just kind of made, extended that hand, extended that offer. So we know Wolverine is capable of putting things behind him. It's just going to be interesting to see as we continue to bring these, these villains onto the island. Granted, some of them have seemed to have, you know, turned another leaf, that their like, apocalypse is a great example. He's working towards what seems to be the greater good of mutant kind at this point. But it'll be interesting to see which of those mutants, which one of these mutant villains that are coming on that are gonna you know disregard the if you sanctity if you will of Krakoa and turn loose and do something stupid. I might have to figure out how I'm gonna review a 72 page book in in a pretty quick manner so that's gonna be fun. May break it up into two parts I don't know yet uh, but make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button hit the bell for notifications leave a like and of course comment below and let me know if you're picking it up is that 79 7.99 price tag too steep or does the fact that it's going to be 72 pages kind of uh make the uh make it worth it plus it's wolverine it's ben percy and it's some great artists so i'm definitely picking it up checking it out you can check it out here on the channel um, anyways, support your local comic book shops, guys, and uh, make sure you go sign up for the uh, X-Men Fantastic Four giveaway over on the, the X-Men Fantastic Four videos. I'll leave the link at the end of the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. That's all I got. Real Comic Stacks. Out.